formative thing I learned through high school was to actually do your homework on time and not not do it. You have to do your homework because otherwise you get behind in class and you start to fail and you don't know what's going on on tests and quizzes and you just start not doing so well in that class and you get way behind and trying to catch up is a lot worse than actually doing the homework the first time. Some advice I'd like to give to incoming freshmen would be to get involved in the sports area field. Um, that doesn't even include just trying out for teams, which I recommend. You try out for teams, it's a great way to meet friends and people. Really get involved in the school and the whole district. But also, if you're not going to play, just be a fan. Go to all the games, dress up in orange and black. You'll probably see me at games going nuts and screaming at people. That's what we want everyone to do. Get some great school spirit back in North Fond du Lac. We're on the rise. Just keep this going. Um, all the sports, basketball, not just basketball. We go to the soccer games, go nuts. Especially football. Go to the football games, that'll be crazy. With our new athletic field. So just, I would say, stay involved. And it's a great way to meet tons of people. And it, it really benefits. The most important lesson of my life so far was to just be myself. I wish that I would have known this going into high school. They say that not everybody is going to like you, and you find out how true that is. Your best friends can easily become your enemies, and the people you thought you would never be friends with can become your best friends. I used to stress out when I found out that somebody didn't like me. I never knew what to do when somebody had a bad opinion about me. I would never show my real opinions or emotions because I was afraid of what other people would think. I seemed happy, but I was miserable and self-conscious. If you can learn to love yourself and just appreciate the people that love you for who you are, that's all that matters. If you don't like you, why would others want to like you? Just be yourself and life becomes a whole lot easier. One thing I wish someone told me to do when I was in high school was to join an extracurricular activity. Why? Well, there's a lot of benefits that go with that. One, you can you go into a group that you're you know, like-minded with and there's an opportunity to make friends, which is a big plus in high school because you're going to be there for the next four years, so you might as well make some good friends that are like you. Others is statistics show that people who join extracurricular activities have a higher grade point average and are less likely to do things like drink, smoke, and do drugs, which is pretty good. Advice I would give to all incoming freshmen is to ask questions and keep asking them all with your teachers. I've, I've realized with my experience throughout high school that, that not every question is a stupid question. With, with asking questions, you'll perhaps not only get closer to your friends, but your teachers as well. I would like to encourage you to get involved in a lot of extracurricular activities and sports throughout high school. Being involved in a lot will help you gain a sense of leadership, strong work ethic, and good character. All of these things are what scholarship committees look for in reviewing applications, and scholarships will become very important in your senior year of high school. Not only do extracurricular activities help you get involved and meet friends, they also help academics. Studies show that students who get involved get better grades and also it helps students have a break from homework and when they go back to do it, they are relieved. I've all heard teachers, and counselors, and principals say high school is important. I'm sure you've heard it a hundred times now, but that is very true. They're just looking out for your best interest and what you do your freshman year is going to be the basis of what you do the, the rest of your four years. So when you start your freshman year, start good. Don't start slacking right away. Nobody gets senioritis, it's just something that's made up. Um, for those of you who don't know what senioritis is, it's when you are a senior and you just don't feel like doing anything anymore, but that's not true, it's made up, don't get in that attitude. The most important thing I've learned in my four years of high school is to never take advantage of any of the friends that you meet. I've been to three different high schools my entire life and I learned that my friends are my number one assets. A lot of people say that friends can follow you your whole life, but that's not necessarily true. Sometimes if you take advantage of the friends you have, then they won't be free they won't be there for you later in the future. So you have to appreciate what you're given in your time and 
try not to mess up the best of your abilities. One thing I've learned in coming to high school is to be yourself. Don't ever follow people. As my grandma always says, be a, a chicken, not a sheep. Sheep follow the, the leader and chickens do what they want. And also come to school. Uh, I know I hate coming back from school, uh, from taking a day off and doing homework, and then you get late work and you keep going and you go and you go, and then you can't get caught up and then it's really stressful. And uh, take, uh, I like to say, take works class or technology. It helps you work with your hands and you can be very creative. Um, foods class is another great class. You get free food and um, you learn teamwork skills. And uh, it's always great to, uh, to have some fun and meet new people. Um, don't, don't just stick with your one group of friends from middle school and try to branch out and find all kinds of people talk to everybody. Just if somebody wants to talk, then talk. When I was a senior, or when I was a freshman, <laughs> I wish I would have been told that the seniors aren't mean to everyone. When I started high school, I thought that seniors were just going to push us all around and be super mean. But I found that they actually didn't really bother us at all, except some of us, like Jake. <laughs> but that's because he's a boy. He kind of leaves the girls alone. So I just wish that they would have told me that I wasn't going to get initiated or picked on like the boys. Because I was terrified and didn't really want to go to school, even though my brother was a senior. So I knew that I wouldn't get picked on too much. But I still was scared. and I'm a senior here and basically what I'm going to tell you today is some advice that will be really helpful to you. When you think about gym class, it's in high school, it's a really scary thing because you gym class with the jocks who are really, really good at sports and think that you're going to get picked on. They really don't care about that kind of stuff just as long as you try your hardest. And if you really have an issue where you feel like you're being let down because everybody else is so competitive and you're not you're just sort of playing for fun, you can talk to Mr. Kobe or Mrs. Gross or someone who would to apply for the girls. But um, pretty much like that, you can talk to them and they'll be able to help you out. Meaning if there's other people who are obviously not going to be really competitive as well. You guys can be put in a group together and you guys can just play for fun. That's what I did. And the jocks and every people don't look at you any different than if you were one of them.